I laugh about the Eden. I seriously laugh about you guys. You guys are the most pathetic and funny people in the whole world because the entire time you're not saying anything if I'm not talking about you know who is who and as soon as I start talking about these things you come at, come at me and you start you start yelling at me you start like giving all kinds of mean comments now I'm gonna be honest with you I delete those comments okay I don't I don't like those comments you know what I mean like for real you can't like it shows you showed me who you are so my following is like going up and down at the moment got now 106 followers thanks for that by the way and also the upvotes great the most that you have appraised you know but the thing is is that what you guys what you heathens are saying <laughs> you guys are dumb as like I already said here you go you know you can see in Hebrews 4 verse 12 it says that it is like a two-edged sword the word is and I cut you up I, I want you you know what I mean because the thing is, is that I've been waiting I've been preparing I've been you know longing for this day that I could like come out and say my piece you know what I mean but I'm not your friend Heden you know despite the fact that I've been growing up with you guys I'm not your friend I'm your enemy and I'm coming harder down on you than you guys are realizing you know what I mean because I don't care about you and and some of you guys were like oh you're cursing out your own followers yeah because most of my followers cursing out me think about it and then to think that most of my followers aren't even my followers they're just you know random passes you know what I mean so for the word of God Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so I see you guys all going off you know what I mean all like shouting at me in essence you know calling me names you know what I mean saying all kinds of things that you guys actually can't prove you know you guys say a lot but you guys can't prove it there is no evidence for what you say there is evidence for what I say there is no evidence for what you say you understand what I'm saying so it doesn't matter what you do Heathen you know like for real you guys have brought me to anger and now you're going to know the most Ayahawa in his full power and he will use me and he will use big Judah and he will use all the people that you that you know of here on on the internet you know um, to be um, teachers of the most Ayahawa's word you know and they will show you you know that you guys you know have no power at anymore you know what I mean so you guys don't have any power and also another challenge if you guys were actually the ish how in the world is it that you guys always had knowledge in the time that you went into captivity you know when you when you guys were uh, uh, in captivity for this little five years in the second world war hmm? did you lose your entire self and I'm talking about the knowledge the understanding your heritage or did you continue excuse me or did you continue your heritage even in the time that you were enslaved and it is only in a small time you know here so you know this it's supposed to be all making sense like the thing is if I'm looking at your people you know the white man okay the Jewish people and then I'm looking at my own people the black man and yes also the Hispanic ones you know the thing is they're not really Hispanic you know they're actually Native American and speak Spanish you know like the whole of Americas are Native American okay that's why you know don't really say Hispanics no the Hispanics are Native American okay they just speak Spanish some of them speak Portuguese some of, of them speak Dutch you know what I mean depending on which which nation came to them you understand what I'm saying but my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because Tao has rejected knowledge Tao is like he's talking to us you know what I mean you know I will also reject these, so the Most High is rejecting everybody who is not accepting the knowledge that has been presented in the Torah, which means instructions. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So this is the curse that he brought on us, so he cut us off, you know, for the sake of that we didn't hear to him so we lost our heritage we lost our understanding you know and the most high was not our god anymore but now it's gonna be turned around again the most high is at, at this point going to be you know 
our gods again and for you people who all the time coming on my posts or any any, any Israelites post you know shouting and you know telling people you know that they that 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 these that I'm wrong or so or whatever like I, I got some scripts for you too because it, let me ask you is is the ish Israel hated and by whom only by the Philistines by the Lebanons or by the whole world who is actually funding them you know what I mean now now you guys are doing terrible terrible things to people so that everybody's gonna hate you yeah but everybody hates you because of your malice against them where in the book said does it say that the Israelite man has been you know um, oppressing all the peoples and then get hated where you know everything what you guys do doesn't make any sense you know what I mean? Like, you guys are trying to make sense out of it, but <laughs> there is no sense in what you say. It does not fit scripture, but it fits the black man. So, Isaiah 5 verse 30. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Who went into captivity? My people is Israel. You know, like, that. these are, these are the people you are scoff uh, scoffing right now and you put aside. You know what I mean? Because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. So, you know, we, we went to the other the other nations all the time. We, we learned the ways of the heathen. You know what I mean? That's what we did. That's why we don't have knowledge. We lost our knowledge already by going towards the other nations. You know what I mean? So the Most High brought us, you know, into captivity because of it. You know. So, yeah. Uh, honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. We are now longing for knowledge. We're searching for that knowledge right now. You know what I mean? Like, this is what it is, man. You know, like, the, all these scriptures are not for you. Matthew 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endure to the end shall be saved. So you guys, you guys hate me because I actually not support the ish. You guys hate me because I'm coming out as an Israelite, which I am. Because I, you have seen my father. He's from South America, Suriname. You know what I mean? My enemy is the Dutch. Okay? You know what I mean? Not the Spanish, not the Portuguese, but the Dutch. And the English, th them too. You know. So they are my enemy. You know. Where where are you guys hated? Like, like, tell me, for the namesake of the Most Ayahawa. Where? Or do they hate you because you're ish? You gotta you gotta think about that, okay? Like, seriously, I'm not expecting that you guys are gonna agree with me, but you don't have to because it's written in scripture. You know, I'm only putting my own thoughts on it, you know what I mean? But, you know, you're gonna understand whether it is the truth or not, because it feels good or it feels bad. But the word is never written to you guys. That's why you guys getting getting angry. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, too. This is, this is happening. This is happening. In Matthew 24, verse 7 until 9. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. As these are the beginning of sorrows, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. I I'm going to be honest with you. It's like, like Israel is destroying Hamas, not the other way around. You know, so this is not going... Uh, this, is not, uh, this is not going hand in hand either Like everything what you try to do Is not getting, you know uh, Fruits, you know what I mean it's, it's, it's a dead end what you guys do You know what I mean, because the scriptures are not writing to you They're writing to Israel Who is Israel, you know The ones that are afflicted, the ones that Are being called niggers You know what I mean, the ones that are called Native American You know what I mean These, these are the ones that are, that, that, that are Israel But you, you guys don't want to understand that You know that, that is the whole problem with you guys, that you guys have no understanding of what's, 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 what is written in scriptures. You know, and we can go back and forth about, about it and stuff like that. You know, I might lose followers and, or gain followers and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I'm studying and I know what I know. You guys are not gonna say, oh, you're wrong. You can, but what, what does that even mean? You know, it, it, it does not matter what you do, oh heathen. You know, because I'm going to keep continue studying, I'm going to continue doing that. You know what I mean? And I will come out for it too. And I don't give a rat, rat's ass what you guys are thinking of it. I am not your slave. 
You know what I mean? Not anymore. You know, you guys are trying to keep people in thought slavery. But a lot of people are now waking up, mainly because people are coming out too. You know, they're they speaking the truth. You know what I mean? And it all comes down on study. Study to see yourself proved. But you guys don't want to study. You know, you guys all want to want to make up your own thing, lean on, leaning towards your own understanding. Which the most Ayahaba says you should not do. You know, but he said study day and night. You know, that's what you guys have to do. And you know what he also says? Prove everything. Hold fast that which is good. So, you can't prove what you're saying. You know what I mean? You just shout things, but you, you, you don't prove it. You're not proving it. If you really were the, the Israelites, oh, heathen, then prove it. But you can't. We have proven that we are. That's why you're getting mad. That's why you're getting mad. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not insulting the people who actually, who actually listen to, to, to the word of God. And who find understanding in it. I'm, I'm mean and shouting towards the people who actually, I know they are the Eden. And they coming in my command section and talk shit. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, pfft. you guys need to understand, man. To, to, like, I am not at your side, oh Eden. Despite the fact that I have been growing up with you guys, despite the fact that I have an Italian mom, it does not matter. You know what I mean? The fact that I have an Italian mom should make you think. You know, I got the whole of his history in my family. I am the history. You know what I mean? That's the whole thing. My second name, Giovanni, means the Most High Yahweh has mercy. It is, it is derived from John the Baptist. You know, because the Most High Yahweh had mercy because he brought his only son. Yahusha Mashiach, or Emmanuel, if you can call him too. Yahawasha, even, we call him. You know what I mean? Yahawah, you know, is salvation. That's what it means. Yahawasha or Yahusha, you know, means Yahawah is salvation. God is salvation. But for whom is he a, 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 a saver? Who is he going to save? Who is the Messiah going to save? You know, like, let's, let's, let's go to a scripture. So, if you're going to Matthew 15, verse 24, you can read the following. But he, Yahusha, answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who is Israel? You know, like for real, because the thing is, is that I already showed you. Let me, let me show you another scripture even. So here in Lamentations 4 verses 8, it's, you can read the following. Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaved to their bones. It is withered. It is become like a stick. Whose faces are blacker than coal? Come on, stop saying... <sighs> you are so tiresome every single time you got like some sort of kind of excuse you know to say like oh but that's that's still the jewish people how how are they black and then cool come on you know i'm, I'm actually surprised i didn't even show you that, that in the other one that where i showed you who the people are you know it's not you it's not you it's not you stop saying that you know like their visions is blacker than a coal. This is another scripture that refers to our skin color. Their visage. Visage means face. 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 What do you think it means? What do you think this scripture means? Stop with the with the irrational thinking, man. You know, you wanna you wanna die? Because if you're going against the most Ayahaba's word, if you're going against the true Israelite, you're gonna die. There is no place for the wicked here. There is no rest for the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked. The wicked shall not be at peace. You know what I mean? And and if like you see it in the world, and you guys are raging because we're coming out with the truth. Stop doing that. Come back to the Most High Yahweh. Even I say it even to the Eden. Stop. Stop. What you doing? What you doing? Why are you fighting me? I have only understanding given from the Most High Yahweh. I just tell you what I know. Oh, you're gonna hate me? Well, then you're getting what you deserve. I got no time for that. You know what I mean? I delete these comments. I'm not gonna read those. You know what I mean? You got nothing. You got no excuse. And that's the thing. Let me, let me show you. So, here it is. Romans 1 verses 20. It says... 
For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Okay? Being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So you guys are now without excuse because you guys realizing that the things that we've been saying, the things that we have showed you, you know, all these things, you know, the, the, that were first like hidden for us, it's now coming out, you know, that, that this is the truth. You guys have no excuse. You guys are without excuse. You got no excuse. And any excuse that comes out is not supporting. You know, it's, it's actually making, making you... Bringing you more in danger, actually. So you got nothing. Go ahead, meditate on that. You know, and, and keep your comments for yourself if you're gonna be a mean guy. I don't, I don't care about you guys. You know, I'm speaking out, out, out of the oracles of the Most High Yahweh, man. You guys cannot do anything against me. Pathetic.